Welcome to Lesson 19, Class Tracking. To begin this lesson, go to the QuickBooks Online Demo account as discussed in Lesson 4. We encourage you to get the QuickBooks Online Plus subscription for your primary organization because it offers three key features that are not available in the Essentials subscription. Inventory, which you learned about in an earlier lesson, Projects, which we will discuss in a future lesson, and Class and Location Tracking, which will be the focus of this lesson. Let me explain the purpose and value of this feature. Let's say that you have three people in your organization who use credit cards, Mickey, Donald, and Elmer. If Mickey goes to Staples and buys paper with his credit card, the charge will come through on the bank feed the next day. You will probably categorize the expense under office supplies. However, that gives you no record of which credit card holder made the purchase and you may like to track that additional information. If the three go on a trip and each pays for hotel with his card, it would be nice if you could categorize the charge to the correct travel account, but also have a way to know which charge belonged to which person. That is possible with class tracking. Think of classes as categories beyond the categories represented in your chart of accounts. They allow a more granular way to track income or expenses. And classes don't have to be people. They can be departments, unique lines of business, anything really. And if you're an organization with multiple locations and you'd like to further break down income and expenses between them, location tracking offers this possibility. For example, I have a client who owns a restaurant with locations in two cities, Savannah, Georgia and Charleston, South Carolina. Let's say that an oven breaks down in the Savannah restaurant, so she hires a repair person to fix it. When the charge comes through on her bank feed, she will categorize it under repairs and maintenance, but she will further assign it to the Savannah location. At any time, she can get a report of how much she has spent on repairs and maintenance, but she can also get a report of how much she has spent on repairs and maintenance for each location. This will make much more sense once I demonstrate how it's used, so let's get started. First, you must turn on class and or location tracking, something I mentioned in one of the earliest lessons about setting up QuickBooks Online. Select the gear icon in the upper right, go to Account and Settings, and then select the Advanced tab to the left. Select Categories and check the box next to Class Tracking. Notice that class tracking can be configured to warn when a class has not been assigned to a transaction, but you do not want to check this box because most of your transactions will not require class tracking. Below classes is the capacity to enable locations. While most of you do not have multiple locations and will likely not need to enable this feature, I will enable location tracking for purposes of demonstration. Be sure to click Save and then click Done. After you turn on class tracking, you can now create your desired classes. Select the gear icon in the upper right and select All Lists. From here, select Classes. Initially, you will have no classes in the list. Select New and give your first class a name. I will call this one Mickey. Notice that you have the ability to create subclasses, just like you can create subaccounts in the chart of accounts. So for example, I could create a class called Organizers and then make the names of each of my organizers a subclass of that top level class. You can nest up to five levels of classes. But in this case, just click Save. Now let's add a class for Donald and Elmer as well. By the way, you can add up to 40 classes and locations combined, although I highly doubt any of you will approach that limit. Now let's establish our locations. Select the gear icon in the upper right and select All Lists. From here, select Locations. Initially, you will have no locations in this list. Select New and give your first location a name. I will call this one Savannah. Click Save. Then add a location for Charleston as well. So let's review. First, you must enable class tracking and, if needed, location tracking. Second, you must create your lists of classes and locations. Finally, you can assign your financial transactions to a class or location whenever desired. 
Let's say that Mickey used his credit card to rent a lamination machine for the day. Select Banking Banking from the navigation bar. Go to the Transactions Awaiting Categorization in the MasterCard account. Scroll down and select the $150 transaction with Laura's lamination. Add Laura's lamination as the vendor if they aren't already in the list. Categorize this under Equipment Rental. And then notice a drop down that we haven't used before called Class. From this, you can select Mickey. And perhaps he rented the machine for our Charleston office. We could go to the Location drop down and assign this to that location as well. Click the Add button. Let's do one more. Say that Donald paid the gas bill for the Savannah office with his bank debit card. Select Banking Banking from the navigation bar. Go to the Transactions Awaiting Categorization in the Checking account. Scroll down to the $185 transaction with Chin's Gas. Assign Chin's Gas and Oil as the vendor. Categorize the transaction under Gas and Electric, a subcategory of Utilities, and then assign Donald as the class and Savannah as the location. Click the Add button. We will cover reports in a later lesson, at which point I will show you how easy it is to run a profit and loss by class report and filter it to show only Mickey's transactions. Let's take a moment to compare class tracking and location tracking. With class tracking, you can assign a class to a transaction or specify a setting that allows you to assign a different class for each detail line of a transaction. So if you split a transaction, for instance, you could assign a different class to each line. With location tracking, you can only assign a location to an entire transaction. With class tracking, you can set QuickBooks Online to prompt you for missing classes on transactions. And remember, I encouraged you to uncheck that option. With location tracking, there is no missing location prompt. With class tracking, you cannot group deposits by class. But with location tracking, you can group deposits by location, which is convenient in case different locations of the same company deposit their monies at different bank locations. Now, be aware that you can use either class tracking or location tracking, or both. But as I mentioned, most of you will probably only need class tracking.